Good morning from London. Good morning from Wimbledon, London. So if you missed our last video, we took a late plane from Morocco to London, landed at like midnight, had this whole thing, yeah. but made it to our buddy Lindsay's. That's right, and today, safe and sound. We are going to be going into London to explore. With another local. Yes, my friend Amy, who I actually met in India. This is video log number three on Amy's device. We're in the car traveling. Guess what time it is? It's video time with Devin and Amy on the train. Right now we're at the Indian Pakistani border. This is Amy's phone again. It's Amy. Hi. I just want to say hello. It's hot. So we're in the back of the van going up to the Himalayas. We're actually almost there. It's quite scary. Hi. Hi. We're here at the Taj. <laughs> Jinx. Five years ago, and I haven't seen her since. And I have yet to meet her, so we're gonna do that. Also, this is our first time taking public transit, and there's a strike happening right now, so we'll see how this goes, because we're meeting her at a different station. That's the thing. So we're using City Mapper, as the Londonites do, and let's see if we can get there. We made it on the train, super simple so far. It's a beautiful day here in London. And we're moving, why do we make this train? Or subway, is this subway or a train? The underground. The underground, are we? It's cold. They're like, look at how fancy these seats are. It's like an actual train. Wi-Fi. On the train. Is this is what is this service? We're here. Time to go find Amy. We're meeting at a clock tower that's at the station, so that's what we have to find. London is so, so beautiful. So I was here once at Devon in 2015, and it's honestly, I fell in love with the place after two days. Yeah, we Such a cool city. So we're really excited to explore with the local Amy. <laughs> We met Amy! Hi! So she's gonna show us around today and we're in the, the Thames. So we're right next to the Thames <laughs> at the moment and we've got the London Eye in front of us and we're just walking on the Waterloo Bridge. That's right. Beautiful and the first step is going to be coffee because... We need it. But this is gorgeous, oh my gosh. So nice. Look at this. It's the London Eye. So for the next couple days, we're going to be hanging out with Amy. We're actually going to go to her local town, which is Guildford, I think, just outside of London. Hang out there and uh, visit her gin distillery, family-owned gin distillery. So that's when we got our little light packs because we're gone for the next couple of days. If the flag is flying on top of the palace, it means the Queen's in. Like the British, the UK flag? The, yeah, the Union Jack, if it's flying, the Queen's in. No Otherwise, way. they fly a different flag. And coffee. Favorite time of the day. Well, oh not my all. god, already all the places we've seen? Insane. That's so beautiful. How's your, wait, is this your Benugo? first coffee in? In London? In London. Yes, this was a hundred, a hundred quid. <laughs> <laughs> That was a lovely coffee break. We sort of just sat in the park and caught up and it was just amazing. Got some caffeine, feeling more awake. I'm definitely an evening person, everyone knows that. And now we're walking through this square, not sure the name, but today's not really about history and exploring London in that kind of touristy way. It's more about hanging out with Amy and exploring some things that locals would do. We're now back in the subway station and we're going to be going to Little Venice, I believe. We're just walking along this canal. What's the name of the canal? Oh, I don't know. 
I think I saw the name a second ago. Anyhow, it doesn't matter. I, I didn't know this was here in London. Like, look at all these longboats. People live here. It's beautiful. In the middle of the city. Lovely. And it's we've learned so you lovely. can actually take canals all the way to North England. Is that yes, correct? there's yeah. ways to get around to Liverpool from here. So, yeah, so if you wanted to travel the UK via canal, you can, but it's very slow. Now, apparently we're lucky because during the weekend, this this little canal walkway is packed. And also these houses that we saw that are behind these trees are like $20 million each. Like massive mansions, you know? Okay, this could not get more, more interesting, more beautiful, and more peaceful. We're making it to Camden Lock where we're gonna have some well-deserved lunch. I know I'm gonna like this place. They got gluten-free options. We're at the first one. There is an overwhelming amount of options because we've been used to the same sort of foods. This is crazy. It might take me a long time to decide. But I'm hungry, so I want to need to eat though. Yes. There's, There's so many beautiful smells. More, I see another gluten-free sign. I'm just so excited. This is amazing. We decided, and we're all going with the same place, surprisingly. We're getting poke bowls. Except I don't think any of us are actually getting fish. <laughs> What's your rating out of 10? Oh my god, it's actually really good. Oh yeah? This is amazing. Thank you so much for taking us here. So good, good choice after all that? So good. Yeah. Yeah. It's delicious. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We got fun. This is blue free! Cheers! <laughs> Cheers! Yes! Cheers! <laughs> oh, it just feels so right. Excellent beer. I'm Excellent. so happy. I didn't think I was going to be able to do this in England, but there's good free beer. Hooray. There is. So now we're going to continue walking to Regent's Park. We're now walking through Regent's Park, and like Devin just said, it's blowing us away that there's so much green space in the middle of such a big metropolitan city. It's insane. It's just so nice to be surrounded by trees and walking paths and space. I guess we like that a lot. We're a bit biased. So it's been a lovely hot afternoon, lots of walking. So what do we need? We need a snog, which is frozen yogurt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what is this? Those look like serious chunks. We got our snog. I got the classic, which is like plain yogurt, but frozen with strawberries and chocolate. And it's delicious and very refreshing. Definitely UK prices though. Nutty. <laughs> no. Guilford. Guilford. <laughs> Guilford. We're in Guilford with Amy, gonna go for a stroll to this beautiful countryside and then after that it's gin lab, I think. No, afternoon tea. Afternoon, afternoon tea. tea first. Come on, we got a big English day today. Right, 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 of course. And of course. we also went to a comedy show last night that was actually very funny. Oh, it was hilarious. Very good. Amy has given us the full England slash London experience and we're loving it. It's been amazing. And how many kilometers did we walk yesterday? Like 24. Biggest oh, day yet. Huge. Chantry Woods, we're going to a lookout and it's been a lovely walk out to the temperature. It's very Gorgeous. good. Gorgeous. It's lovely. Perfect. It's lovely. Tarps, Tarps off. We had a couple of beers last night, so it's warm today. Not used to the humidity. Alright, so we're just approaching the actual hill. This was just the warm-up for so All this uphill oh was a lead up. <laughs> Just yeah. getting our bodies nice and sweaty for the up Jesus, So the Amy. last bit is coming. What are you doing us? It's good for us guys. We'll make space for the afternoon too. We made it! Yes! And apparently this is also a pilgrimage. Or it used to be. Yeah, so right. it's called Pilgrim's Way. This is St. Martha's Hill. Amy's St. gonna Martha's get married Hill. here one day. That's the dream. Potentially. Well. Make um, everyone walk up. Thanks a lot, Amy. <laughs> but the viewpoint's the other side, so we're carrying.
To me, the UK means quaint, peaceful, lush gardens. And, uh, and this is what this is. It's beautiful, it means a lot to Amy. It's just, it makes sense, because it's just peaceful and beautiful. And I want to see more of this kind of stuff, and this is why I love the UK. We're off to go to get some tea. I can't Look how perfect this is. <sighs> like, this is exactly what Devin and I love. Little walks down these little paths. You could ask for better than this. There's horses in the field. We're gonna get some tea. It's so nice. But as Amy says, it's lovely, really. It's just lovely. So, just making it into this little path. We're in the shade now, going for high tea, which I'm really looking forward to. And it's just been lovely. I can't get over, me and Amy have not seen each other in literally five years. And it's just great. It's like nothing's changed. They're the same and, person. And we're just exploring her hometown as well as England, London yesterday. Going low over here. Anyways, the it's English just The English countryside been, is Amazing. Yeah, we love English countryside. This is unreal. And on our way to the tea house, we're stopping at Guildford Castle, which obviously is a castle in the middle of town. Typical English countryside. Oh, and a beautiful garden, of course, and beautiful smells of flowers. Like, this is gorgeous. What the heck? So this castle over here, founded supposedly by William the Conqueror in 1066, and the walls that remain are from the 12th and 13th century, casually. Now we're off to tea. So we're at the Ivy, which is a fancy restaurant for tea and clotted cream scones. Also, they're gluten-free, so I can have one, and I'm really excited. And it's our first tea oh, in England. There is one thing that I did want to do here in England. Actually, no, there's two. I wanted to walk in the English countryside, and we did that. The second thing was have cream, jam, and scones and tea. And here we are. Can't be happier. Like, this is amazing. This is really amazing. Amy was just telling us that people put the cream and jam on in different orders. Depends on the person, but she does. It depends cream. on what part of the UK you're from. So if you're from, like, Cornwall or you're from Devon, you put the cream in different orders. Now I'm just excited to just try this. Like, this is gluten-free. I'm freaking out. This is amazing. It looks the same. It smells good. It's warm. Mm. That's amazing, yeah. I'm so excited. Oh my god. <laughs> Amy. Wow. This is amazing. I'm gonna cry. This is so great. This is so, so good. It's so good. And it tastes like a scone. And it's gluten free. Just leaving our afternoon tea, and it was that was the greatest so experience good. of my life. <laughs> <laughs> so revived after that. We were a little bit we wary sleepy, after the war. Honestly, warm. the best. And we have one more super fun adventure to do on Amy's tour tour experience. Oh yeah, right off to the gin lab experience. Woo Let's go. So excited to do because Amy's told us a lot about it and we are going to be making our own gin at her and her brother's gin distillery. This is their company. Oh my <laughs> gin and tonic. 
I think I got it the wrong way around. Oh, there we go. Oh, there it is. So I tried the lemon and ginger. Yes. And you bought the apple green London dry. Oh, thank you so much. It's good. That's really good. Yeah. I want one now. Yes. This is so fun. So she just whipped this up in the back for us. It's a piece of orange peel. Professional. She's a professional gin drink maker. Is the best gin drink I've ever had. This is the After the Great Gin we're drinking right now, and we got double gold at San Francisco World Spirits Competition. So it's quite good, wow. which means it's one of the best gins in the world. Oh my goodness! That's amazing. Why not, Jen? Thank good you so much, Jen. Good job. Thank you. Okay, so we're learning a ton about gin. For it to be considered gin, it has to be 37.5% and be juniper lead, which means that the juniper berry has to be the main botanical in the flavor palette. So, what we're doing is we're selecting our own earthy, floral, herbal, citrus, whatever we want to add, don't add too much, and making our own sort of gin. I think I figured out what I'm going to put in. I don't know how much, and like, usually when I cook and bake, I kind of just throw amounts in. <laughs> so the fact that there's like an actual scale that I have to measure, it's going to be interesting, but I think the combination I'm going to go with is rose petal, ginger, and then grapefruit, which she's going to grab. I've added all the core botanicals, so that is juniper berries, and then I added the coriander seeds, and then a little bit of angelica root, which is supposed to be mixing those flavors together. Now I can move on to my flavor palette, and I just got approved. I'm going to do angelica seeds, lavender, and licorice root, and rose petal because I want it to be like the English countryside. I'm not as organized as Keith. I'm just kind of doing my own thing and hoping for the best. <laughs> my gin is named, and it smells really good, 48 Hours with Amy. I called mine Amy's Run because the path that we took today was part of Amy's run she used to do through the countryside. Oh my god, really? I didn't even realize that. That's what I oh. Okay. If you take the lid off here, inside, waiting for you, is 96% ethanol. Oh my goodness. I'm blind. So it's very strong. <laughs> okay, so what you need to do is simply tip your botanical mix into your still. Making sure it doesn't spill everywhere. Give it a little tap. Get the last of the good bits in there. And then you put the lid back on. This is a temperature gauge, so when it gets to 72%, alcohol starts to evaporate and boil. So that's what we're gonna try and get it to. But you've gotta connect the pipes together as well. What's the temperature, sorry? 72. So yeah, mine's probably in that. 11, 12, okay. Okay, so we've just made our spirit. It's 86%. Yeah. Jeez. So it's too strong to drink. So we have to add water to it to filter it or to dilute it back down. Now we go wax them. It's not yet 48 yeah. hours because we have time tonight, but we're gonna end the video here mm. because That's right. we just need time with Amy. We need barbecue and bonfire now. Yes. That's right. So thank you so much for watching. Also, like, what the heck? This Look is at this. So cool. Check out Wessex, WessexDistillery.com. Check it out. Check it out. Best way to start a time. We'll start a, a discount has code. So Keith much and Dev. Offer. Yes. <laughs> discount code. So thanks for Thanks for watching. See you in our next video. Beautiful. Was that good? Oh, it's, it's so exaggerated. <laughs> the yeah, lighting, you've got to be like, more chill. On, it's like, Ugh. everyone talks in like, Ugh. the lighting's beautiful. Yeah, it's better. <laughs> the lighting's beautiful. The lighting, yeah. Well, no, I'm pretending. <laughs>
<laughs> but the lighting's beautiful. But the it's like beautiful. American? Oh my god! Isn't it lovely? <laughs> That's so good. It's beautiful. Oh, you're in my shot, Amy. What the? Oh my god! You heard her. It's tea time for us now. Down we go. Thank you, Martha's Hill. Hopefully, we'll be back for her wedding one day. <laughs> a cup of tea. A cup of tea. Cup time of for cup tea. Of tea. <laughs> I heard there was a birthday. There was no birthday, but we got a cute little happy birthday. Celebrating, the, celebrating uniting for the first, first time, time in a while. First time in five years. Yes. Yeah, that's what it says. Yes, yes. <laughs> Seeing Reunion. each other for the first time in five years. Beautiful. <laughs> oh my god. Hi. Is it going? Oh, that's it. Yeah. <gasps> oh my god. So. Oh, well, Neat. Wow. Well, who would have known? Who would have thought? Can I dry it off, Amy? I don't know. <laughs> I just dropped it. Just now. chill out. <laughs> yeah, simmer down. Okay. Chill. I can feel your anxiety. It's alcohol. We can't go wrong. All right. So I'm just gonna deep this in and hope for the best. Yeah. Right? Here I go now. Yeah, that's why I call it that. Come on. She's a bit of a. Wait. Hold up. She's a bit of a. No pad. No pad. <laughs> <laughs> Doing it wrong. It's not a knock, it's a Hello, anyone in there? Yeah, hey, you're not knocking. It's a <laughs> okay, she's a bit of a knock. Get out of my photo. Amy's trying to take a picture. Get out of my photo. There's people in the background. She's not very happy Get with out it. Of my photo. Get out of my photo. Now people are coming, so we're gonna turn off the video. Vloggers. Vlog of future.